football on a Tuesday night, and off we go from Murfreesboro as that kick sails out of the end zone. To try to protect their offensive line, help them out with the tempo in this game. Jaden Credle, the back, empties the backfield. Badiato, five eligible receivers. Credle just hangs out there, pauses for a moment. Now has to make a play one on four, plunges forward to pick up a few. Up here, number 89, plays linebacker defensive end spot. Quick handoff, Credle. I will swoop in and stop him, and so on second down, Kennedy Badiato's best friend on this third down and medium down the distance. This is a situation where with Badiato, you're not afraid to get him out of the pocket, I imagine. He's at his best when he's rolling out. Give him, a, give him an option to throw the football. If it's not there, take off and run for the first down. Kelly moves to the other line. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Come on, go Protection holds up. Badiato's got to scamper out of there. No receiver in the area, and Kenneth... Grant Chadwick set to punt. Chadwick, booming punt. Fair catch called by Middle Tennessee State as Javen Williams. The ball over the field, he's athletic. Right now he needs to control this game with his arm and his legs and not turn the football over. Johnson with the shotgun. They go to the ground first. Quay Ashley gets an excellent block. Ashley out and running. Quay Ashley a cut. Ashley, the very first play from scrimmage for Kennesaw State is a home run of the game. Kennesaw State couldn't script a better start to this game. Johnson, this time the hand off to Benefield. Benefield to the left side of the line, upended. But another big run, that's good. Tonight's red zone is brought to you by Verizon as Kennesaw State to start this game on defense and to already be in the red zone here Adam not even three minutes into the game couldn't ask for anything better momentum now for Kennesaw State they have to get the ball in the end zone here to capitalize on that momentum their red zone offense has not been good this season so far Ashley back in the game at back Ashley trying to plow through the middle of that line gobbled up Gain of about two. Jordan, anytime you have a young Bohannon at receiver number five at the top of your screen at the moment. Second and goal for Kennesaw State. They go to the ground again. It's Ashley churning those legs. Brings up third and goal. See defense that has struggled throughout the season. It's normally been through the air. Kennesaw State said we are not afraid to run the ball in this game. We're going to stick to our M.O. They go to the ground once again. Cut short, though. Preston go down the middle or off to the side. I'd be going down to the middle here where they just ran it, but also, Jordan, it would be a great time to go play action and get one of those tight ends in the flat here. Ashley motions out. It's Daniels in the backfield. They go to Daniels, the big body trying to fight for the goal line. It's a scrum. Did Kennesaw State get it? Middle Tennessee feels like they stopped him. We'll wait for the ruling. That is no touchdown. The Blue Raiders. One three and uh, now we'll see what their offense can do backed up. Middle Tennessee, what are you thinking here just to buy yourself some breathing? Room? Just need to get one first down and give yourself a chance to flip the field. They go to the ground, but no, that is a safety. Kennesaw State taking linebackers dream. Pick the 20 yard line. Bit of a line drive kick. It's going to give. Opportunity to return for Kennesaw State. Crunched at the 37-yard line, though. Tykeem Wallace. And the ball comes out. Middle Tennessee is sprinting. That's where you make your money on defense. Got to get off the field on third down. Adam, five and a half minutes into this game, you could argue Kennesaw State has already established those two keys. They go to the ground. Ball bounces off the turf. Quick little dribble to himself. However, wrong sport. That'll get you tackled as Michael Benefield in this football game. We've yet to see Johnson throw the ball, second and 15. They fake the handoff, Johnson has a little bit of time, chucks it deep down the field, well over the head of any potential receiver or defender, and now it makes third and long for Kennesaw State. Johnson will go to the air again. Pocket collapse, and they set up the screen. Blockers out in front. Actually, the excellent open field tackle coming downhill. Parker Hughes back to receive Omari Kelly from Middle Tennessee. We've got a flag coming in. 
Potential offsides penalty. False guard, offense, number 14, five guard penalty, remains fourth down. Now, were you ever on some of these punt protection teams? I wasn't tough enough to be on that. <laughs> I just wanted to catch the football, man. <laughs> were you? You were, were you on any of them? I was a gunner. Okay. I was a gunner. He had to scream down the field and try to make that play. So Ulrich to punt again. High booming kick. Kelly has to back up to center field and that'll bounce out of the end zone. So Middle Tennessee. Adiato has been a boom for this Middle Tennessee offense. Last play, Middle Tennessee was on their own goal line, got tackled in the backfield for a safety. Now they've got some good off. Rick Badiano takes the handoff, a strike. Kelly catches. Kelly, a few yards after the catch. Taken down at the 42-yard line. Makes it look so easy, does Kelly. 33rd reception on the air. Badiano this time to Miles Butler, bobbles it a little bit, maintains the completion, has to pay the price though, and Butler's that third receiver Middle Tennessee really wants to see the Status as Middle Tennessee tends to their fallen player. Your pride in That's been the issue for Middle Tennessee. They haven't been able to establish consistency with that offensive line group, and they've got everything going in the skill position players. It's the trenches they're looking for. The handoff, this time it's Terry Wilkins getting his first touch of the game, and Wilkins going to carry the pile for a first down. Middle Tennessee had everyone. Carry, fresh set of downs now in Kennesaw State territory. Matiato, pressure coming right into space. Holden Willis, the catch. And turns it right up the field for a gain of eight. By body on it. And how much of that is just trusting your tight end and having those reps to it? But they clearly have such a high level of chemistry and knowing where each other are on the field. Middlebrook the carry. Middlebrook the first down as he continues to drive things forward to the 30-yard line. Now Jordan just picked up a first down from Middle Tennessee, running the football well. I expect him to take a shot down the field here soon. A play at a big play down the field. Kale Middlebrook. Most talented of the three backs can do a little bit of everything for them, and a flag comes in before the snap. It's going to be on Potiker, number 42, false start. Should be, at least, from what I saw. Let's see how good your eyes are, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> Taking some time. And Holden Willis, like all tight ends, a very honest no man. Doubt. <laughs> tight ends always tell the truth. <laughs> Disconcerting signals. Defense number 92. Five yard penalty remains first down. This roster, there are so many new players, almost 50 on each team. The handoff, Middlebrook makes the first tackler miss. Middlebrook diving near the first down marker, sends some shifty footwork. Oh, yeah. No, thanks. 